then. I've only tried to make this video like five times, but for some reason, though no one ever comes to my door today, very active. So the dogs keep barking. So now I've locked them in another room, and I hope that I can actually get through this video because I have a confession to make. Yes, it's been a long time since my last confession, but here it goes. I often feel like a fraud. I know. It's amazing to me too, but I often feel like I'm a fraud. I know that I have had 25 plus years experience in geriatric health care. I know that I have worked with hundreds of families. I know that I have written two books and I have cared for numerous family members. However, there's part of me that often still feels like a fraud. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm in over my head. But you know what? That's normal. It's normal for any of us to feel overwhelmed, feel like we don't know what we're doing because caregiving, it's hard. And though I know in my knower that I have had all of those years of experience, I have helped families, I have written books that have helped people, and I have helped my own family members. It's really, really difficult to just look at that and say, all right, I feel good about that. Because there's so much more that needs to happen. There's so much more that needs to get out there. There's more information. There's more education that needs to happen on caregiving and aging issues. Which is why I get up every day and try to make a difference. And oftentimes, it's overwhelming. Oftentimes, I feel like I'm not even touching one person. And other times, I just feel like a fraud. Like maybe what I have to offer isn't enough. But it is. It is enough. For those of you who are caring for somebody, you're enough. I know, it's really overwhelming. It's really scary when it's your own family. In my head, in my knower, I know all these things, but when it comes to my own family, it's scary. It's overwhelming. There's so many emotions involved, and you're doing the best you can, but it's still really hard, even for me. And I knew what I was doing. I knew all the players. I knew the people to call. But it's hard. And I know that there's so many of you that even if you're not caregivers and you're just watching this video because you know me or you want to see me confessing something to the world via YouTube. I know there's times that we all kind of feel like a fraud. We put on this shiny exterior. We get ourselves all prettied up and look all fancy about ourselves and put on a show that we're confident, we feel good, and we have stuff to offer, even though inside sometimes we don't feel like that. But that's okay. Just keep doing it. Just keep getting up every day and trying to make a difference because you can. You can do it. You can make a difference. If you're caring for somebody, you've already made a difference, even if it didn't seem like it at the time, even if it was really hard and it was really stressful and there was a lot of animosity going on you made a difference because you showed up and all we can do is hope and pray that when our time comes and somebody needs to care for us that somebody's going to show up and do the best they can and put on a shiny exterior even when they're feeling really crappy and really stressed out and really overwhelmed by things in their life whether it's work or family or just us <laughs> because I'll tell you right now that when I'm old and I have health issues, I'm probably going to be crabby. So, <laughs> to those of you who will end up caring for me, I'll tell you ahead of time that I appreciate you, even if I won't do it at the time. Because you showed up. So just keep showing up, even if you feel like a fraud, even if you feel like you may not have something to offer, you do. If you woke up this morning, you have something to offer. We all do. And I'm just going to keep giving myself those pep talks and I'm going to get those thoughts of fraud out of my head as much as I can and keep trying to make a difference for you and for me and to get information out there. So I encourage you, if you are caring for someone, please 
read through the different blogs on the workingcaregiver.org because there's information there that can really help you or somebody that you know. I know I'm not alone in my caregiving journey because there's over 65 million estimated caregivers in the United States alone. We're in this together and I'm here to help. Even if at times I feel like a fraud, even if I feel overwhelmed, I'm going to keep going every day. I'm going to get up and I'm going to try to make a difference. I'm going to show up for you. So thank you for showing up for all the other people in your life. And whatever you choose to do today, do it with a smile. God bless you.